Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we review and compare the latest tech products. Today we'll be comparing two switches from Netgear, the 8-port Gigabit Ethernet Unmanaged PO Plus switch and the 8-port PO switch. We have split the screen into two halves so you can see both products side by side. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews. The 8-port Gigabit Ethernet Unmanaged PO Plus switch costs $69 while the 8-port PO switch costs $79. It's clear that the 8-port Gigabit Ethernet Unmanaged PO Plus switch is the more affordable choice. Both switches come with 8 Gigabit Ethernet ports, but the amount of PO Plus ports differ. The 8-port Gigabit Ethernet Unmanaged PO Plus switch has 8 PO Plus ports with a total power budget of 83W, while the 8-port PO switch has 8 PO Plus ports with a total power budget of 123W. If you have more power-hungry devices, the 8-port PO switch is the better option. The 8-port PO switch comes with software that offers basic managed capabilities to configure, secure, and monitor your network. The 8-port Gigabit Ethernet Unmanaged PO Plus switch, on the other hand, is a plug-and-play device with no software to install or configure. If you want to switch with basic software options, go with the 8-port PO switch. Both switches support desktop or wall mount placement, so the choice is up to your preference and setup. It's great to have options with either device. Both switches come with an industry-leading three-year limited hardware warranty, so you can feel confident with your purchase. Both switches have an energy-efficient design compliant with IEEE 802.3 as, so you can be sure they won't consume unnecessary power. They also operate silently, making them suitable for noise-sensitive environments. And that concludes our comparison of the 8-port Gigabit Ethernet Unmanaged PO Plus Switch and the 8-port PO Switch from Netgear. We hope this video helps you make an informed decision when it comes to purchasing a switch for your network. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews.